Hello ladies and genitals, welcome back to my daily motion channel. Today I'm going to tell you how to cure acne. What I'm about to tell you, it's not something that you can just do one time. It's something you have to do every single night if you want results. It's like taking birth control. What happens if you stop taking birth control? You get pregnant. I have a lot to talk about, so I'm going to divide this video into three parts. Number one, I'm going to give you some backstory on my skin. Maybe you can relate to me. Number two, I'm going to give you some tips. And number three, I'm going to show you my routine. And I don't know in which order I will do this. And I know I'm wearing makeup right now. I just got home, but I will show you my skin throughout this video. First of all, the backstory. I started to get acne when I was 13. You know, I just started to go through puberty. And my skin went through so many stages. I'll put photos up here. Every single time I got a pimple, it would leave a mark. I had hyperpigmentation all over my cheeks. It was terrible. I was so... The cars are so loud, I'm gonna die. She's dead. I'm alive again. My skin was so bad throughout high school. It was definitely one of my biggest insecurities. The number one problem, looking back, that I made was I tried too many products. Number one, simplify your skincare routine basic products i will show you my routine okay i would spend hours and hours and hours on like acne.org researching watching youtube videos on like how to cure acne i tried i tried everything trust me i even tried putting vaseline all over my face i read about that i've tried everything my skin was awful i even had one stage where i broke out all over my neck because i had a reaction to something it created bumps my skin got clogged Anyways, I fixed that. It wasn't until I got to uni, I kind of stopped caring about my skin because I had had acne for like eight, not eight years, because I had already had acne for six years then. I kind of, at that point, was like, I'm gonna have acne forever at this point, and I gave up. And I noticed when I stopped using so many bloody products on my skin that my skin got better, but I still was breaking out, so that was still a problem. And then at the end of last year, this is when I really, really honed in on the secret product. And now I know. I've broken it down to three products and I know they fucking work because trust me, if I run out of one of these products, I'm like, okay, you know, maybe the other two will work and this one does nothing. No. All three of them, they work together. You need to use them together. So what is the secret product you're asking? I'm getting it, you guys. Just be patient. I need to go get the last one. It is aloe vera. Not from the plant. I, I don't know why. I don't like the one from the plant. It makes me break out. The Nature's Republic 92% aloe vera. I mix this with almond oil every night. I scoop it up. I put it in my hand. It's like a face mask, like those Korean face masks. And I put it all over my skin. And then on top of it, I put a really, really thin layer of this cream. This is Oxy 10. It is 10% benzoyl peroxide and I put the tiniest tiniest amount if you use this alone I find it makes my skin red irritated my skin just burns off it flakes and if I don't use this and I only use this my skin tone is phenomenal but I'm getting bumps now these three products they work to clear your red marks the benzoyl peroxide will get rid of any bumps girl you got bumps not acne but you know like the this will get rid of it and I promise in one week boom I'm going to insert this video here. I'm not wearing any makeup. This was when I stuck to my routine for two months. My skin was so flawless, literally. My skin hadn't looked like that since I was 12 years old. By the way, the links are below. This is not sponsored. There is a sponsored part in this video, which is later in my routine, but this is not sponsored, bitch. I know this works. I have been using this for one year. I have tested it. My skin has never been better. And I know, I know if my skin is slipping, I know what to do. I gotta do this. And I do it every night. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you through my routine. My routine is simple. Really, really simple. It consists of a toner, a very basic moisturizer, and sometimes I'll use a serum, but I find, you know, this does a job. It just hydrates the fuck out of your skin. <laughs> and I always put this on at the very end. And before I shower, I usually do a clay mask like three times a week. I am going to take you through my routine now. This is before the mask I'm gonna do. I have like a few bumps. My skin is a little bit red. It's mainly like clogged pores. My pores have been huge lately. That's why I've been using this like every single day. Not every day, but four times a week. They recommend doing it one to four times a week, which I like because most clay masks, they ask you to only do it like once a week because it's too drying. 
but I find this is like quite hydrating and it's a detoxifying mask so it's meant to like get rid of all the gunk in your pores get rid of all the impurities and it's made with organic matcha green tea lemongrass and it's all organic and they're made in small batches we're gonna apply that first of all I'm gonna wash my face this is the best cleanser on earth I don't have the packaging but I'll leave the link below it's a vitamin C cleansing bar I got it from YesStyle it's Take note of the blotchiness, the redness, okay? And what I do is I make sure my skin's a little bit damp. I need a little bit more water, actually. <laughs> I like it damp because it's so thick. It just helps to go on. And I just spread it with my hands. And it spreads. <gasps> oh my God, I got clay in my $100 microphone. Can you see that? What the fuck? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my God, okay. Speed. This really helps me to just, number one, calm my redness down. Number two, clear everything out of my damn pores. Okay, so I'm gonna wait 10 to 15 minutes now. I'll be back. And in the meantime, I'm gonna clean the clay off my $100 microphone and my $1,000 camera. I'm waiting for it to dry in the bathroom so my roommates don't occupy the bathroom, then I can't wash my mask off. You can already see it like drawing out everything. <gasps> I love to watch it. The mask is all dry and I cannot move my face. <laughs> but look at my pores. What the hell? It's just getting rid of everything. When I first saw this, I was shook. Okay, I'm gonna wash it off now. I think I'll take a shower and wash it off and then I'll show you the finishing result. So I just washed the mask off. My face is still a little bit red, mainly from the hot water. My pores are so much smaller. Yeah, I look tired off. The mask don't fix that. Sleep does. And my redness is a lot better. Obviously the results aren't overnight for like acne, but do it consistently. Incorporate a clay mask into your routine, you guys. Simplify your routine and your skin will be great. Oh my God, my skin is so smooth. It literally, I wish you could feel this. But yeah, it just feels clean, like it sucked all of the gunk out. And what, what I also noticed using it consistently for like a month is that my skin is not as oily anymore and this just really helped control my oil let's get on with the rest of the routine wow oh i've already put my toner on i totally forgot to tell you this is the toner i use i love it i really recommend to not manually exfoliate and to get an acidic acidic an acid toner instead i use the multi cell night repair serum these are all from yes style the links will be below you can use my code for a discount as well this is not sponsored by the way this is my legit skincare routine this whole video is my legit skincare routine like i'm telling you that mask even though it's a sponsorship love that's a part of my routine then i let it dry for like a few minutes get it really let it you know, let it get into my skin, bring it down the neck, and then I use this, which is a C Buckthorn Vital 70 cream. I don't actually care about my moisturizer that much. I like a thick cream. My skin loves that. In high school, I didn't really notice a pattern in my skincare. I just tried everything, but yeah, during when I used like basic skincare, that was when my skin was the best and I stand by it. Now I'm gonna give you some tips that have also helped me. I find dairy does make me break out, but if I'm doing this, if I'm using all of this, I'm, I'm usually pretty good. It doesn't impact me that much. Uh, additionally, you guys, you need to sleep. You need to sleep. I do psychology and I recently did my research report on sleep. And what they found was it doesn't so much matter your hours. I mean, it does matter, but what's more important is your sleep schedule. What is your bedtime? What is your, what is your wake up time? That will change your skin and your cognitive functioning so much. You know, do you ever sleep like 10 hours and you wake up and you're just fucking tired? That was me today. But during exams, I knew I had to have a minimum of eight hours. So I was waking up at seven and going to bed at 10.30 and I was getting eight hours and I was having, I was so bloody awake. Anyways, we're not talking about being awake, but my skin was so good. It hit my pores, which are sh shrinking. They were tiny. And now I'm not sleeping good, they are big again. You want smaller pores? Sleep. You want glowy skin? Sleep. I used to also have a very grey tone to my skin. I, I always try to fix it and I, nothing would work. I started using this, it fixed the tone I was glowing. But I also started to sleep. Sleep! So that was a lot of information. To summarise, what have we learnt you guys? Number one, simplify your routine. Incorporate this. What is this going to do for your skin? Number one, this targets your acne 
this targets your skin tone and the texture and the hydratedness is that a word I don't think so anyways this is just a miracle worker and I'm gonna use this to the day I die number three sleep develop a sleep routine get a minimum of eight hours consistently each night also wash your pillowcases I wash my pillowcases one time a week and I try not to sleep on my side because sleeping on your side creates wrinkles and it drags your skin down and then you're also gonna get like acne I found in high school what exasperated my acne was actually sleeping on my side and also like rubbing my face with my dog's fur and she would kiss my cheeks sorry bacteria would just go in there yeah but yeah I hope that helped you guys I've really really struggled with acne throughout my whole life no half of my life I didn't have acne as a child but yeah I know what you're going through a day I haven't worn foundation since I was 12 and now when I'm doing my routine consistently I can just wear concealer and I'm confident in my skin be consistent. Don't give up. Simplify your skincare routine as well. Anyway, subscribe for clownery and helpful videos because I'm just here to help you and to make you laugh and to educate you and just to be an educational clown queen. Okay. Bye, guys. I'm going to go have a nap now because I need beauty sleep. Bye. And before I go, I just want to say it matters not what you've done, but what you do with what you've done for others. <laughs> Mi otra madrina dijo que sí Este de aquí me hizo llorar Este otro me dice marica Este otro de mí piensa mal Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan Voy a encerrarlos bajo la tierra tierra Nadie va a comer y de hambre morirán Madre quiero saber En verdad quién soy yo Y sí, tal vez tengo un síndrome 